Jack Shades coming, sure as death, to lay you down and steal your breath. Put on your mask, hide with care, and pray the angel finds you there. Salvation's near, we'll carry on, but first survive until the dawn. Hello, everybody. Steve Bain. I can't take you any further, but a village lies just Curious beyond the woods. I can sense a new evil. And uh, this is Wildstar. You must make your way there. And uh, this is the uh, thing that's through the portal. I said I would show you once I got in. I'm helpless in the thicket, and it looks like you're having trouble too. For now. Use your supplies to survive the darkness. And uh, part of the fun I'm having is these little ghost thingies come running straight at my head. And they're going to kill me if they get me. I am trying to find my way through the dark and spooky woods. The shades, but in a new form. Be careful. I'll talk to you soon. It's empty. I, that's probably for the best, really. If... <laughs> So every once in a while, these little ghost things will come running out at me in the dark. If they get me, they turn me into one of them. And then, uh, I am hosed. <laughs> so right now, I'm kind of waiting it out. Trying to figure out which direction. I've got a person to the north of me. And a person to the south of me. So I'm going to try and go that way. See if I can't team up with the other person. There are two of us moving around out here. We might do a little bit better. Aha! Thought I spotted one of those little buggers. Ah, yeah, there's the person. <laughs> yeah, I can also change back. There's a couple ways to change back if I get turned into one of the little demon thingies. And, uh, I think that's the town over there, maybe? So part of this is, whoa, whoa, I am disoriented. Okay, no, I'm not. Oh, for the love of crap. <laughs> oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of flares. I got hit. I didn't realize I had a limited number of those things. Fortunately, I can turn back. All right. Oh, great. There's a village around here somewhere. <laughs> we will find it, by God. No idea where it's at. <laughs> ah, crap. The hard part is, is it doesn't tell you where you need to go. I think we found the outer edge of it. <laughs> I'm out of flares that will keep the uh, things from grabbing me. Wait, wait, wait. It's big, it's green, it's open! Is it the way out? I'm feeling much better now. So I can help you out a bit. If you see my light, try to follow it. 
Okay, so I want to go that way. because I can't go that way. So it's gotten a little brighter. So we, we basically have to outweigh the dawn or get really, really lucky. And I'm now running in the exact opposite direction of where I need to be going. Aha! I found her light. And at least one other person. Hopefully that'll help whoever else is out there find his way to us. There is a... This is to do with the shades of your solar river. I shall investigate that. Interesting. I had not seen that before, so that's pretty cool. So we are... We are all converging on the same spot. Hooray! We all made it. You made it. There's someone close by who can lead you onward. But be careful. You won't find many friendly people here. You survived the thicket. Impressive. It's impressive you found us here at Quiet Darkness as well. Follow me. I'm going to share that. The preparations for our Shady Festival have begun. We've been waiting for new blood like yours. The mayor is in the town square. He'll be so pleased you're joining us. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> He's waiting for you. You'd better hurry. A pass through the gate up ahead. Nice. Everyone contributes in quiet downs. You understand? Now let's go find this mayor fella. Now, like in Expedition, we're going to get a choice here at some point. Um, I've already done it one way. I wanted to run through and see how long this was going to take. They told me that fresh blood had made its way into town. Luckily, you're just in time. We've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Harlem Town throws a unique festival for Shades Eve. It's really to die for. <laughs> so go on, take a stroll, meet some of the locals. I'll let you know when we're starting. Oh, I want to be sure. All right, well, let's go talk to people. Chitting and chatting and stuff. So, I, I like this. There's a nice, creepy little vibe going on here. I've been sent to investigate this cult, so don't blow my cover. The mayor is crazy, and these people are not what they seem. You must help me. So can you there. The mayor told me there were visitors looking to help with our festival preparations. That must be you. Maybe you can play a key role in this year's ritual. So we can either investigate them or help the villagers. Now I've done the investigation. I'm gonna click help the villagers. I had a chance to talk to Axios about setting up for tonight's event. Come to the town square and help us put up our decorations. What a splendid idea. Pretend to help the mayor set up the ritual until we figure out what's really going on here. Be careful. He's a very bad man. Yeah. What good is a festival if you're not dressing the parts? Let's get you looking proper for our little ceremony. A 
Open the plague barrels. Yes, that seems like fun. Mix the cauldron. What we need now is our guest of honor. We have quite the selection available in the barn. Perhaps you will select our special guest for us, hmm? Don't be shy. Yay! I don't know that this doesn't... Look, corn! I believe there's probably children in it. <laughs> Look, it's a lop. There's a lot of people here. Oh, Ashley. Two of us picked her. turned into a firefight, isn't it? <laughs> Said I haven't done this one yet. They've done it this way. I've, I went and investigated the town. Oh, now they're mad at us because we let her go. Oh, that turned fast. chance to set up for anything there, do you? Should probably stop shooting. Should probably also get into the thing that's healing everybody. Plot armor! Blast you, plot armor. <laughs> now let's head down here. So, I, I'm enjoying this. Like, this is creepy and dark and nasty and unpleasant. Oh, we are going to eat something so I don't Slab. die. <laughs> So this gets... They did a really good job on this one, I think. Like, this is Halloween. Like, if this is what it means to be the Halloween holiday or Shade Team or whatever they're going to call it. Just 
done one of them. I have upgraded this, so now I get two interrupts. So unlike this guy with the one next to his name, normally I would have had to hit him with both of these things to turn him off. Now I just have to hit him with one. Which is really nice. We've got some good going. Let's see, we've got, what do we got? we got an engineer for sure. And if it, warrior and an engineer. And you can also note, we're level 50 for this. <laughs> I know we also want to avoid those things right there. If we hit those, it actually summons a creature. That gets pretty nasty. is we're going to do. We've got a couple... We've got to kill a whole lot of cultists, but we've also got, like, destroy lab equipment, destroy plague bringers. It depends on how much of the... Uh... I guess it depends on how much of the, uh... the event we want to do. It looks like we're going for everything, which... healing this thing. Looks like the engineer is taking over his healer, which also, to some extent. I've actually been practicing his healer. I have a, a skill set built for it. I don't know how particularly useful it is, but I'm okay. I need to fine-tune it, really. Um, one of those where I'll heal if I absolutely hit that. Yeah, we hit it. Probably, I'm going to stop attacking here, let him pull it off of me. Alright. This is one of the things, like, I remember from my WoW days that one of the hardest things for uh, DPS to learn is when to stop attacking because you've out aggroed the tank for some reason. In this instance a lot of that was that I opened fire before the tank had aggro, which will almost always get you killed uh, unless you have a good tank. And ours is actually really decent. He's been keeping everything face to him and and I knew when to stop attacking, which was good for me. It's... So let's see, it looks like we're gonna grab this group here in a second. It is one of the things with teleporting, you might actually get one of those little guys, so I'm kind of trying to be leery of it. But it looked pretty safe there. I didn't remember seeing a thing on the other side of him. I'm trying to watch for him. I don't always spot him, though. Nothing happening here. Alright, nice done. So we've got this outer room finished. Looks like. 
I'm gonna let the wire grab that. I've got I've got a couple of things here keyed together. For example, um, the the missile launcher makes all of my magic attacks do extra damage, which the ice thing, this thing, and this thing are all magic based damage. Everything else is bullet based damage. So you know, I I don't have nothing but magic based attacks. Otherwise, this whole bar would be nothing but them. is going after the bot. I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> yeah, the missile also does, by and large, the most damage per single attack. Although I can only use it so often, so... There's a plague breaker up there. I don't know if we're gonna get him or not. The source of the disease is further inside. We need to stop these people before it's too late. I will ask. Now I will accidentally set off everything under the sun. Okay, I think we've got this. Seem to have picked up both an ad and. Um, ah! Come on, come on. Hang on, people. You prefer the light of the living so, one of the things I know about this is from on my earlier run through, uh, we had somebody die. Or not connect, so it ended up being me and one other person. And the only way we could get through it was we, we ended up kind of zerging the th <laughs> It also took like an hour. <laughs> We don't want the plague bringer from the last round. Uh, maybe not. Looks like no.
drawing everybody's attention today. Oh, I'm not trying to. But I am being spectacularly successful at it. Oh, let's heal up. There's my shield. Love my shield. My shield is all shieldy and stuff. So. Grab him again. And I think we went too far, didn't we? They've all no, no, they haven't reset. They've got. Or maybe they did. seconds behind on these. You stop shooting. Let the tank grab them. So like, I mean, like, you can see like all the different telegraphs that are shooting off all over the floor here. These will help out a little bit. We just stunned somebody. I can see the purple nameplate. The plague bringers are so scary. You need to stop them from spreading the disease. Break their tools, too. We can't let there be another plague. No, we can't. We can't. So we've got 18 more cultists, or we've got 18 of the 22 cultists, that means we need, what, four more. Very nice. The team is looking pretty decent here. I think we're going to clean, looks like we're going to get this room pretty easily. The uh, tank do most of the murder. If 
Unfortunately, I already fired my interrupts off. I thought somebody was. The problem is, is like I see the telegraph and I have to guess. I can't always tell. What's going to happen? All right, sweet work. And a couple of people in there, different, kind of all around us. So we got Barry Knight and uh, I should have said this earlier, Nequissa Shiota, both doing some pretty good work here. Everybody's keeping everything going on. As long as I remember to, every once in a while, stop shooting. I don't pull aggro off the tank, which is useful to not do. So we're gonna take a small break here while somebody grabs the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. We we have not looted anything. <laughs> I was hoping we'd have at least picked up something, but nope, not so far. Uh, one thing we do get for this, we get these uh, shade silver, which we can use at uh, renowned vendors to buy various things and pieces and bits and bobs. Uh, I am hoping at some point to have uh, enough to buy. There's a very nice looking motorcycle. Let's do this. Let us go forth. <laughs> and a blasted caps lock. Curse of every gamer everywhere. Somebody's friend there. Too close to the thing. Let's see if I keep holding in front of the tank. Tank grab aggro. Let's start watching for the teller. I like the combat here, and it's, it's, God, you've got to pay such close attention. Everything that's happening around you. All right, well, we've got one of the two optional goals down.
still not looking to me, so I'm actually okay with him doing whatever he wants in that direction. We got a nice interrupt already, which is magnificent. Keeping him down, though, that's really worth working on. The interrupts are really important. Like, I cannot, like, if you haven't played or you haven't been paying attention, like, or just you haven't gotten into it yet, the interrupts are amazingly important. If for no other reason, then they make your opponent take buckets and buckets of extra damage. things to die. You can apparently get a pet. I don't want it. Double kill. Triple kill. Uh, sign of air. I can use it. I don't know if you can tell, like, you can watch, like, he's dropping, uh, when he's stunned and I unload with the, uh, rocket launcher, I am hitting for a weekend. Okay, he's, oh, no, he's not on me, he's on somebody behind me. to get rid of if we choose to. The mayor's just beyond this door. Okay, nope, apparently we don't choose to. He believes Jack Shade was real. He must be stopped. So now we're going to get to deal with Jack Shade. This is a very long fight with two people. <laughs> My first victim. So nice of you to join me. Stop. I won't let you hurt anyone else. You must be the little brat who cured the plague so long ago. I'll deal with you too. Yes, we're helping creepy syringe lady.
stop attacking Steve. Let everybody else draw him in. Teleports. Trying not to die. Damage when he walks through. They really are because his shields keep recharging, which is the worst part. We're back. back beautifully timed. I don't want to be tanking him. I'm doing a... I think because everybody else died, it's going to be almost impossible for them to catch up with me at this point. 
Yeah, I have noticed the. Uh... Oh, get out of that. Ah, bugger! He's almost down. We got him to sixty. God, he's at eighty-nine thousand health. Oh, what's the matter? Come on, come on, come on, come Get him. And it only took dying in a concerted gerbil like manner to take him out. No! This is impossible. We did it. The mayor is defeated. Oh, there we go. Avoid the uh, plague of doom. Oh, well. I'm gonna die because I ran into a pillar. <laughs> It's a fight and a half. <laughs> Thank you for stopping that madman. The Shades Plague is dead. <sighs> Come, let's get you home. Right, yes, let's do that. Yes, I would like to escape from here now, please. Quickly. While screaming like a small child. So, I have finally made it home. The group, uh, excellent group, Barry Knight, Nagisa Shiota, excellent job. Everybody did some good work. So let us. Oh, it was a new housing plot, by the way. I guess there's everything. Uh, my Halloween stuff coming along nicely. This is, again, if you have the trick or treat quest, you need sh a heart candy. You can come to uh, Kaledon Storm Streaks, K A L E D O N Storm Streak, and get yourself some candy. I got buckets. And right now, let's see what I got out of my bag of stuff. I got a future present. Consume to make yourself sick. Seriously, this stuff is. Okay, well. I have to do it at least once. Well, that was just unnecessary. <laughs> There we go. All right, folks. Well, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. I hope you uh, enjoyed the run. And uh, we're... Yeah, I know. I'm going to pose here at the end. <laughs> there we are. So um, this was this was uh, Shades Eve. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. There's a whole bunch of more stuff going on here. And hopefully... See if I get anything else. Yeah. Oh, I did get some more coin too. So every time you do it, you get more coin that you can use on stuff. So hope you enjoyed it, folks. You guys have a great day. I will see you all again next time.